Come one, come all. <laughs> yes, it's Halloween, so what better way to celebrate than being scared out of your wits in the House of Horrors in Tato Park? I'm joined today by Miss Walsh's class from St. Melrunes in Tala, Dublin. Oh, God! <laughs> Welcome. But beware all those that enter here. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast, the ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. They did the monster match. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They did the monster match. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. Out from his coffin, Drac's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, What ever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the Monster Mash. Now everything's cool, Drax a part of the band. And my Monster Mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent you. Then you can Monster Mash. And do my graveyard smash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can monster mash. Well, this is the fourth year that it's been going, and uh, each year we've been adding a bit more, more actors, come more props, on, and things on. like that. So, in its fourth year now, I can safely say that our interior designers have done probably the most scary house they've ever done. We've seen some eight year olds, nine year olds come out of it laughing and uh, uh, having a great time, but some 12 year olds uh, came out crying. It all depends on the child, but we have some other great stuff here in the park uh, for people. We've got face painting, spooky stories, and uh, some other things like that as well. So if they don't want to do the haunted house, there's plenty for them to do. It's so realistic, and all those skinned animals and skulls and eyeballs. Oh my goodness, what were you thinking? Does someone have some issues out there putting this together? <laughs> well, I think the interior designers might have some, uh, something to answer for there, but uh, they, they've certainly been responsible for the, a lot of nightmares, and I think uh, this year is probably going to be the worst one yet, yeah. And none of those dead bodies are real? Oh, I can't tell you that. What did you think? How scary was it? Oh my god. For scariness, I would give it an absolute 10 out of 10. It was absolutely horrifying. What was the scariest part? Probably when the man with the axe came out because I was the last in my group to go in. So I was the one who basically like got grabbed. Yeah, it was really, really scary. Like, I'm going to have nightmares when I go home. <laughs> when we had to walk through the kitchen, we're all like the dead bodies and all hanging from the ceiling. I thought it was terrible. Well, terrible? Well, terrible good? Yeah, terrible good. And did you cry? Yes. Well, I didn't cry, but I was about to. Um, I thought it was like <coughs> absolutely horrific. And I, do, I don't know, I just felt like crawling on the ground and dying. Well, what a morning. 
what fun we had. And this is definitely a great place for kids to come over the Halloween period. Oh, I'm not feeling too well after that, to be honest with you. Happy Halloween. Easy, boy. You with young boy.